scales. Let's see. Wow, that is got different. I got a pickup for two leopard head clowns. Two leopard head clowns. That's the main you're gonna need to see right there. Yeah. Yeah. That is so different. It's <laughs> cool. <laughs> now, if only this camera is known for not focusing. So. Let's see. <laughs> This thing is just, I, I don't, it's like weird to put into words. You're right with the lip thing. And then I've, I've heard one of my female friends relate to something else. And so, <laughs> yeah, I, can see. I can see the accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is just so different. All right, so this is me recording it after the fact. Um, for all of you guys that are new to the channel, we do have a 1500 subscriber giveaway going on. It's going to be posted in the next couple days if you're watching this right on posting. But all you're gonna have to do is like and comment on the video as well as be subscribed. So if you do live in the US and you watch our videos, make sure to subscribe. We're gonna be giving away a free ball python in the next couple days. So yeah, now let's get into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Logan hey from Mighty Reptiles here. We're here with my dad. And this is October 6th? Yes, Friday. And we are just about to fly out to Tinley right now. We just finished getting the room spick and span so Nicole can come in and just do whatever she needs to do with the waters and kind of just cleaning. Yeah. So yeah. We're just about ready to go, so let's head out. Alright, so we didn't vlog fresh out of the flight just because it was really late. We're fresh up in the morning right now, just got ready. We're about to leave, trying to get ourselves some VIP passes so we can get in. What is it, like an hour and a half early? Two and a half. Oh god. <laughs> What you got, Logan? Super cinnamon, super pastel, lesser female here. And I'm really having a hard time saying no, but equal hard time saying uh, yes. Come on. <laughs> You've held a snake before, it's not that different. Yeah. There we go, she's waking up now. There we go, girl. <laughs> oh, no, this is not right. <laughs> Very cool. Brian? Oh, Brian's here now? Okay. Do you want to see if we get another load? Oh Alright, cool. This is a reunion right here. Yeah. Sorry, you're on our vlog. Yeah. How you doing, Brian? How are you? Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah, it's great to see you. How you been? Good. We just got here, but we're doing great so far. Alright, so Mike, I have to inform you. I beat you to buying a snake. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. You, you bought some yesterday. But I got a BHB snake. That's true. It's right here. This is my little girl. This is my oh, super pastel, super cinnamon, lesser. That is a 5G little girl right there, yeah. Yeah. Somebody's gonna have to talk me out of buying this little guy. Blade Leopard Clown. Because you guys know me. Yeah, yeah. That's what I want to make right there. You're not having the money. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> right. How pretty that is. Unbelievable. Have I made up your mind? Are we gonna go <laughs> go towards this now rather than the banana head fight? Go ahead. Jason Abraham. We talked a little uh, bit back and forth. Okay. <laughs> Have I made up your mind, Dad? You want oh, you want that? I, I want it in a bad way. Will you loan me the money? Will you sell your car for it? I'm already selling my car. So. <laughs> and put all the money into this snake? Yeah. Well, I'll put all the money towards this thing. This one's not for sale. Okay. This one is 18. Yeah. Yeah. In which case, we'll have to kick and whine and beg for uh, a, a little bit of a, a little bit of discount. Yeah, a lot more auctions. Yeah, a lot more auctions. A lot more auctions. And we'd need a female. like <laughs> whatever. What'd you guys go and get for lunch? We ain't here. Yeah. We have to get you on the blog. Say hello, Krista. That's not hello. <laughs> Yes, we'll do that tonight. Oh. All right, so day number two, we're coming in right now. 
and it's bright and early in the morning. I have still not caught up in any sleep. I didn't want to vlog the first day because I kind of wanted to take time to really go around and meet people, but today is going to be the day for vlogging, so let's go on. So you guys all know Hammy. I didn't realize I got such a good deal because I got Hammy for 50 bucks and he's a boy that's het for snow. And I thought snow was just a different gene than it is in ball pythons. I didn't realize it was actually like exanthic albino like it is in ball pythons. So I'm realizing getting a female for this guy is going to be a little expensive. So let's see if we can find one. All right, so we have our spider exanthics. Here's the next up, here's the bumblebee. It's really nice and bright. So pretty. Look how white it looks on the camera. Yeah, exactly. I really like the blue eyes in the Xanthic a lot. How they're kind of gray. Right, right. Here's the lesser Xanthic. And it is just gorgeous. Oh, and it knows to come to the camera. Oh gosh, he is cute. <laughs> Never thought of putting lesser with Xanthic, but man, this is just pretty. We just bought a really nice mail. We finally found that powerhouse that we're looking for. Check your phone. So yeah, not gonna spoil it yet. You guys are gonna have to see when we unbox it. It's gonna be coming either on Tuesday or on Thursday, so you guys can see it either in the auction on Tuesday. If I'm really excited, I'm gonna show you guys, or you're gonna be seeing it on Wednesday, Friday. But yeah, look forward to it. It's gonna be amazing. So unfortunately, day two is really coming to a really short end. Our flight is at. What time is our flight at? Uh, 3.30. 3.30. My dad likes me really early to these things. I don't know why. He's we have to drive 45 minutes. We have to fill up the car with gas. That's an hour. That's going to put us there at 1.30. Got to get there two hours early, buddy. So two hours of airport vlog and one hour of, of Tinley vlog? Is no, that what you're one saying? One hour of TSA. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think TSA likes cameras? Uh, I doubt it. Um, so I did get a little bit of vlogging done on the first day. I'm gonna throw it in right now. Uh, but it's mostly just highlighting stuff. Um, I mostly just took the first day to actually just go and talk to everybody. And it was, it was really fun. Probably should have vlogged a little bit of the auction, but I cannot stress to you guys, it was nuts. The, the first day was just beyond crazy. But in terms of actually you know, being able to sit and talk to people, day two is the day to do it. So that's why I wanted to do the vlog on day two, especially less people, but yeah. Speaking of which, hey, hey, no spoils. I'm gonna have to oh, silence that now. <laughs> Let's hey, get done. Yeah. Oh, I smacked you in the oh. face. <laughs> right off the bat. <laughs> Probably deserved it. Are getting abused over here? <laughs> yeah. All right, so Tinley was just an absolute blast. We're walking back to the car now. Got to meet a lot of great people that we just haven't seen because we've been stuck on this on the west side of the country. <laughs> yeah, so, lots of new people. Got to meet some people from Canada. 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 <laughs> the, can the, the Canadians. The, yeah, those Canucks. Yeah, that was fun. And just a lot of people from from out in this area, even in the south. And for every all of the uh, followers on YouTube that stopped and talked to us, thank you very much. Yeah, it was great meeting. It was everybody. really cool. And Earl, I'm gonna find you a leopard male. Sorry about that. Yeah, we are we are so sorry about <laughs> that. I completely forgot that you had email asking about them, and then. As a matter of fact, if I saw you today, there was someone that had one in there. Yeah, I, I was. I, I thought about it when we passed by. I was like, oh, you know, I feel so bad. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we're going to find you, Mel. We swear. Now to the airport. So here's our exotic rental. It is a Chevy Malibu, <laughs> and it's got the suede um, inserts up here. Just wait until he turns it on. There's some LEDs here. There's some LEDs in the handle, and then just all over the side here, like it's the Camaro ZL one, but all these little different suede inserts it's like this is an exotic car like you don't understand like we're rolling high right now like do you think the car's on 20s um 20s 24s 20. oh yeah <laughs> we just took the the wheels off of a yukon and put them on a chevy malibu <laughs> and guess what it also added like 
30 horsepower by doing that. It would need about 300. All right, so we just got home and it was just amazing. And I am just amazed with how the place actually looks. Nicole did a great job in here. Just all the racks are just spectacular. The floor is clean. I mean, we made it clean before we left, really but good. she maintained. Wait, clean. let me look at the rats. The rats look really good too. You did a great job. Yeah, food's still in tip top condition out there, including water. Just the one thing I'm glad is that we didn't have any of our lines chewed over the weekend. That was the big worry. I think we've got that taken care of. But are you free next weekend? We'll, we'll go again. Oh yeah, I'm 100% I'm down to go just somewhere <laughs> again because it was awesome. I really wish that we had time to explore the city a little bit, but we were just snake, 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 snake. Yeah, we had to take a late flight, so we didn't get there till after midnight on Friday. Well, it was actually Saturday by that time. And I'm exhausted. But uh, yeah, we made it a very quick trip. We got to hang out with a lot of people. The auction there was incredible. They raised tens of thousands of dollars, maybe a hundred thousand dollars for various causes. It, it was fantastic. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun spending time. I'm just going to throw a couple names out there for people that you guys will actually recognize and then obviously if I don't list you, but you um, had to come and hang, uh, hung out with us. Yeah. I, I'm fresh out of a plane. I am jet lagged like <laughs> right now. Don't judge me. Um, but. We hung out with Krista and Gary. Gary yeah, I mean, just for some, Krista is one of our um, subs, and she's really active in our auction. She hel helps us out. It was great to meet her husband too. We had a, a really good time. We actually had yeah. rooms right next door to each other. Yeah, our headboards were literally right up against each other, which meant I couldn't sleep. But you know, <laughs> but. Um, as well as P-Town, it was really cool to meet you and your family. Absolutely. Um, Had a lot of fun with you, especially at the auction. Yeah, he was keeping tabs on a snake. I was I was in it actually. Um, I guess this kind of ties into who I met next, which is Doug from Hissy Fit. Um, he had a snake up for auction. Um, what is it? N-A-R-B-C. N-A-R-B-C. There you go. Um, auction there. And it was a pastel het desert ghost. And I've been eyeing desert ghosts for a while. And... I, I was in a silent auction and P-Town was on it. He was staring over it like a hawk, so whenever somebody came over and bid on it, he would let me know. Oh, P-Town was too? Because I was watching it, Krista was watching it, Doug was watching it for you from Hissy Fits, his own snake. He was trying to get it, but then finally at the end, somebody put it higher than we wanted to go. Yeah. I mean, the only real reason I didn't really push further, I we, we could have just gone and completely we could have. swung it out. but. It, it was male pastel head clown, or not head clown, head desert ghost, and it says pastel head clown right there uh -huh. on the tub that I'm using to support the camera. Uh -huh. So, um, and it was, the whole reason I didn't really push further is that it was a male, and I don't want to have a head on my male. I want to throw a visual around, so I have 100% heads and not 66%. Right. Plus, if I have to buy a whole bunch of visual females, there goes all money out the window. We're not ready yet, but oh, no. excuse me. But um, for a cheaper price, it would have been great. We would have put shipping on top of it, of course, and it started to get a little bit crazy. But they also, P Town and I bid against each other. Bet Mike from AEP and I ended up bidding against <laughs> each other without knowing it. Was he was funny. trying to bid for us. But yeah. he didn't know that we were bidding anyways. Yeah, so we bid it up. But then finally in the end, somebody else got it. We let it both let it go and somebody else took it. We that actually that was weird. We thought we won. We were all excited and was, he pointed the other way. Yeah, I actually thought I had it. But yeah. that's okay. It went pretty high. Yeah, that that would have been a really cool girl. I mean, we didn't get it, so I'm going to spoil it, what we were bidding on. It was a leopard blade pet clown? Yeah, I think so. Female. And it was of decent size, probably around 400 grams or so, and it was, it was nice. Just went higher than we wanted. Yeah. Um, and then before I forget to mention the rest of the people, um, it was Mid South. Is it Mid South Morris or Reptiles? I want. Yeah. One of the things I want to talk about that is that at one point we had in one area in front of Mike Freedom. Or Freedom <laughs> I'm sorry, Freedom, Mike. <laughs> yeah, at Reptile Ranch, which was great to meet you too, Mike. Um, but we had Mike from AEP, us going Uper. Doug from Hissy Fit, P-Town, 
Uh, Mid South Morphs, Tim, Tim and his wife were there. Uh, then, who else right there? We had a bunch of vloggers right, all together and it was almost surreal. It was so much fun yeah. to just talk to everybody finally. And just poor Mike Freeman's trying to sit there and sell snakes and we have us and then we have people coming up introducing themselves to us. Yeah. And he's he's just like, guys, you're in front of my booth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Um, so we did end up with a pair of snakes. I'm really excited to show you, um, to really let you guys know what we got there. I think Mike's gonna end up spoiling it before we get it. I think it's gonna be in his video. Really? Yeah, I'm trying to make it a secret, but if you guys see him head towards a booth with me and we're pointing at a snake, look the other way, because I'm trying not to spoil it. I wanted to make the it a light, favorite. The light color one or the other one? The, the Is first day. spoil? Okay, yeah, he may, because, uh, that was the other thing too, is uh, without getting into that one too much, to stand and talk to, to Brian for a while. We'd met Brian oh before God. bar check, but actually to speak to Lori for a while too. You never see Lori out there. We got to talk to Lori for quite a bit mm -hmm. and we got to haggle with her over a price of snake, which was really fun because uh, you can ask Gion. I'm kind of tough. I like to bust people on prices and she well, doesn't give up anything. Well, the thing was we didn't do the haggling. Brett did the haggling. Well, we, we, we have an ace in the one. hole when it comes. Brett from uh, Vegas. Um, um, he's the moderator for the auctions, if you don't know. Brett uh, 420. Um, and uh, he he just has a hammer. But I like to do it too, so it was just really fun to mess with her and to have her just mess right back. It was it was great fun. They're really good people. In which case, I was going to buy this snake either which way, to be completely honest. It was, it's. You know, it's a it's a BHB snake. It's, yeah. I've been talking about BHB, just really starting my interest in reptiles again. I was interested when I was young, got bit, got scared forever, and then finally saw his videos, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give him another try, and now I have almost 180 reptiles in my house. Yeah, and Logan and Brian became pretty close buds. Uh, they hung out a lot together, so there may be some stuff there in the future. We were, yeah, Logan was pretty excited. But yeah. But also, um, uh, some of the other stuff, I really got a chance to talk to Garrick DeMeyer, we bought snakes from him, um, communicated with him, but to really just a really nice guy to talk to, yeah. um, and a, a lot of fun. Um, who else? Oh, Kab Justin Kabilka. Justin Kabilka was nice. Him. Gave me this shirt. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, it was one I've of the great things that came out of it. Um, was finding out that the the uh, blackhead gravel boy we got from him, um, one of the others had bred and they got a blackhead highway, and I saw it didn't live uh, more than a couple of weeks. But the picture of it is amazing. It, it is, is a black highway, black with a highway stripe highway stripe down the back. It is incredible and like uh, it looks like a freshly paved road with fresh paint on it. Yeah. Like it is perfect. It really it really does. Um and, like and this I is look called forward street. To, <laughs> yeah. I, I really look forward to seeing that. I, I, I kinda see a trend going back to darker snakes a lot right now and I think this may fit right in. So we were pretty excited uh, about that. Some of the other people though that aren't YouTubers that we talked to, um, I, I want to say the one of them. We, are, we already mentioned him. I'm trying to remember. But um, that are um, vendors that were vendors. Oh yeah, that vendors, we yeah. With that, we'll save the best one for last. But um, we talked to Garrick. Um, he didn't have available what we needed, but we'll probably buy something from. He, he said he's got some back at the shop, so we'll probably, um, David, we're gonna buy some of those. Just be ready. Um, <laughs> so he, he, but he's got quite a few, so don't worry about it. Um, um, I don't know if I'm spoiling your your best one for last, but Dave Kaufman. I did a lot of talking with him. Um, I didn't get to talk to Dave. I didn't know you hung out with him. I particularly were talking was or sorry, was um, talking to him about hog noses because um, oh. little did I know I got a really great deal on my Western hog nose boy Hammy that I got for my girlfriend just because she wants to be in snakes and she's a little worried about getting bit. She received her first bite over the weekend, so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it had to happen. And the thing was, I can't even tell her that it was a snake we're selling. It's our holdback bell, our super Mojave girl. Oh, it was better. just a baby. She'll get over it. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, with Dave, um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk to his girlfriend. I, I could care <laughs> less about him. Uh, um, but with Dave, he had some Xanthic Het for Snow um, hog noses out that weren't sexed, and he's like, you know what? They're really picky, so I'm letting them go for cheap. And man, it was really hard to pass up on them. 
but the thing was I had my eye on completing what we've been looking for for months, which is a powerhouse male to come over here. And I was just really, it's like if I went and spent $100, I knew I just was gonna have to pass on actually getting a powerhouse male, because that was already extending the budget a little bit. But, you know. A lot. Yeah. Um, and there's another one that we had a really had a hard time passing and that was at next level it actually wasn't at next level exotic so somebody vending with them at their booth are you oh, oh, is next level female the younger guy yes that's gabriel okay yeah um, but the a guy named chase and i think it's his girlfriend i'm not trying to put you to get two together or anything but uh a guy named chase i didn't get his last name but his collection is really yeah. nice and we came so close to pulling the trigger and it was a female banana 100 percent het for pied and it was for a crazy low price, like a as much as we would think banana. a male would be. You, this is the price we would ask for a banana hat pied male. Uh, is what he was asking for, banana hat pied for a female. And if are you we, guys know what females are like, that's in terms of banana, that's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it was pretty amazing. But it's one of those things where you can't buy everything, even if it's amazing. We had some stuff we had really had to get. But um, just, uh, oh, I wanted to shout out to the animal plastics people. We've got an animal plastics rack. Actually, we have two. We, we're borrowing one. Or That's a long story, but we're watching Snakes for a Guy and we have his rack. Um, but they're wonderful racks, and I bid on in the auction and won an animal plastic d display case. For if we ever vend. So we yeah, can if we go to an auction, yeah. Uh, or not an auction, a, a show and vend. Um, but it was really amazing meeting them. It's such a good display case. Mm -hmm. um, it's not one of those just, you know... Uh, it's, it's not like the ARS ones where it's just clear on all sides. This one is encased and it's like styled, but then it has a top to it that's a little different. It's got all the lighting included. There's a little nameplate on the top where our name will be and they're gonna do all that and ship it for free. Just, I got to talk to them, meet them. Really great people. Look like a family operation from what I could tell. But uh, really wonderful. Yeah, speaking of the auction, there's just something I really wanted to hit on is that, and they drove this there too, I wish I vlogged it, because um, it was a really amazing moment. If you guys didn't know one of our fellow breeders, one of the sellers at the show, um, what was it, a week or two just prior to Tinley, had his eight-year-old daughter pass away. and She'd been sick a long time. So, and then he had posted on Facebook that he was not, able to come up with the funds for funeral and medical expenses that had incurred at the time. So he had to come to Tinley without his family, wanting to be with his family because he needed to raise that money. So they took a big chunk of the auction and dedicated it all to him and we had just cash donations go and we raised over, I, I shouldn't say we, but the uh, collective We had a community. small part in it, but the, yeah. the, there were some big boys there who were throwing in lots of cash. Some of the big vendors were, were really putting money in. And we raised over $42,000 for that family. Yeah, it was pretty incredible. But, but also for lots of other things that were going on. It was just a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's just amazing because the whole idea behind like society's view on us being reptile, like the reptile community is just, oh, we're all just outcasts, but it, we can really band together and make things happen. And it was just wonderful to actually see that happen and see how much it meant to him because he was actually there in person and the table a few from us and just to see his reaction to it was just amazing and then i think the one we're saving for last unless there's anybody else okay. is uh tom harbin out of texas he's, mm -hmm. he's a veterinarian and raises snakes and he had some really high level snakes and we talked to him for both days for a very long time. Probably we, over an hour both times. We were getting a little late for our flight, so we, we had to run at the end. But we ended up buying a snake from him, and we'll, we're will we not going to say yet. We'll do a video when we get him. Um, he's going to ship him sometime this next week. Yeah, um, it's either going to be coming on Tuesday or it's going to be coming on Thursday. So maybe I'm getting my snake spots on the same day. Maybe I'm going to have two different vlogs with two different snakes. I don't know. Um, but... We're gonna make it happen. All right, so the camera actually died when we were doing that, so I'm gonna cut the end of that, and then we're gonna continue talking about thinly a little bit. So if we overlap, and that's gonna be the cause for any weird cuts here. Um, so I'm gonna make sure we're not saying things twice. Did you look at, back and see where we left off? Nope. I know we were talking about Tom. We had a great time with Tom. So uh, we'll uh, be getting a snake from him tomorrow, and we're gonna get one from somebody else. BHB. Did we already say? Okay, yep. BHB. 
Never thought we'd get one, but we did. It was great. Oh, that's right, we did talk about um, Lori, too. So, um, we'll be doing another video about that. What else, buddy? Yeah, um, one thing I think that we failed to mention that was really, really cool was that alligator. <sighs> he was impressed. They had about a 10-foot alligator, maybe a hair more, really thick, but uh, pretty well trained, just laying out in the lobby. Yeah, and at one point he decided he wasn't going to listen to the guy anymore and tried to walk into the convention himself and all he did was step in front of it and point down and that thing just laid down instantly just thud right on the floor yeah trained just like a dog he goes sit and that thing just hit the floor yes. that, that part was interesting when I, when I first walked in I thought it was just rubber I thought it was fake I didn't know they had a real one laying there <laughs> well it wasn't there when the VIPs had started so we only really noticed it when we went to go get food yeah but other than that, um, being able to actually hold the scaleless um, at Construction Addiction, um, I know I recorded it, but I didn't mention their name, so I want to make sure I got that out there. And um, getting to meet everybody was just awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good time. I didn't mention earlier too. You know, we met a lot of people who watch us who don't have channels yet, who were buying a lot of snakes. One of them, in particular, was Daryl and Holly. Um, they were wonderful to talk with and yeah, they, they walked away. I don't know, I think I saw at least eight that they walked away with. So <laughs> they, were, uh, they were doing our, our routine. Yeah, so obviously there's some stories here that I forgot to mention with uh, Krista and Gary. They picked up a handful of snakes, one of which was a chocolate Cali King, and which I just love King sn or Cali King snakes in particular because I used to just go out and wild catch them all the time when I was little and just catch, play with them, release and um, I was mentioning how my Mexican Black King never bit me and just right on cue, the, I'm not moving my hands at all, I'm just I'm sitting here letting it run through my fingers. It just goes and just slowly just sets its mouth around my finger, not really biting down, but he holds it for like a good two seconds and then just lets go. I, it was the weirdest little feeding response, I think, that I've ever seen. It, it didn't try a wrap, it was just like, eh. I'm gonna bite you. That's weird. Yeah. And then I have to apologize to Brian Cusco who tried to have an intelligent conversation with me when I was having a migraine during the convention. <laughs> <laughs> and to all the vendors that had to deal with me because I was asking what labels were because I I could sound out the word, but I could not wait, make sense of what it wait meant. Wait a minute, I didn't hear this story. You you couldn't figure out what a label was? No, it was like, I would read bamboo, but uh -huh. I, I just for some reason couldn't comprehend that it meant bamboo. Oh, so I I'm understand. Like, I'm like sitting there, I'm like, buh, eh, mm, ooh. Those of you that get migraines, you can understand. I spent about five minutes once trying to figure out how to spell the word R. A-R-E. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes, it takes your brain away. Anyway, I'm sorry you had to and go then, through that. And then me and Brian tried to have an intelligent conversation about um, studio lighting for the camera and what I should be looking at next. And I was just so lost throughout the entire conversation just trying to figure out what's going on. It was just like weird. It's like one side of my head was like not in focus. Like this is G7X side and then this is the the <laughs> professional camera over here. Like this one's in focus, this one's not. That's this all right. I, I talked to him for you. I knew what you wanted to know. Yeah. So. It was really interesting experience, especially being at such a big convention, and, and then that continued on to the auction. So you know that was fun to do. <laughs> but yeah, it was just an overall just really great trip, and I feel like if this video goes out, and we really feel like we have more stories that we need to tell. We'll go back and tell them because there was okay. a lot of stories that we obviously cannot cover in a short amount of time. I think it's going to end up being about a 20-minute video, anyways. Yeah. But. It was a great time. If you guys didn't go this year, make sure you go next year. It's just, it's well worth it. Um, and it's not really a worry if you're living apart, they'll ship the snakes to you if you're looking to buy, um, like we have two coming tomorrow. Right. So, very excited to actually go and do that and show you guys what we got because they are really cool. It's something that we've been looking for for a long time, at least for one of them. And the other one, I guess you could say I was looking for a long time, I just wasn't specifically looking for this snake. Mm -hmm. uh, but both snakes are actually really cool. Yeah, so. oh yeah, you'll like them. Um, anything else we need to cover? We'll do, a, we've got an auction coming up tomorrow on Tuesday. We're filming this Monday morning, actually it's Monday early afternoon now. But uh, we will uh, do that auction, we'll do it, we're going to try to be at 5.30 this time, right? Yeah, we're going to okay. do our best, yeah. Cool. 
Don't be taking off somewhere and expect to make it back. I, I needed a phone. <laughs> Let's get my phone fixed. <laughs> Excuse me. But anyway, we'll do that. And later today, we're going to film the uh, pre-auction video so you can see the and snakes. We've got six more coming. Tomorrow, I'm hoping. Tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm hoping to get the actual 1,500 subscriber giveaway announcement out. So you guys can start filling in with the likes and the comments and just really get everything going because we are really close. I, I'm not even sure right now, 30 away, something like that? Something, yeah. It, yeah. As soon as Tinley hit it, accelerated. And so yeah, other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell if you wanna see when we upload. Um, and yeah, other than that, I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.